Okay, what's going on guys? It's me KG and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get through your first life in Miner's Haven. So, you want to get, start getting a remote iron mine right here. Basically, we're going to do this with a cell furnace. Basically, best beginning strat of, the thing of, of when you're first beginning the game. So, we just click this. And then you want to save up for the actually you want to save up for the iron excavator just get this okay replace this mine with the iron excavator all right do that okay you want to place the mine you just want to spam the heck out of this until you get 25k as well all right just keep spamming it Okay. Alright, you want to get rid of this. And then now you want to buy the gold excavator. There we go. You want to do the. Okay, spam this until you get have enough for the remote diamond mine. Alright. There we go. Let's draw that. And now you want to get the remote diamond mine. There we go. Place it there. And now you want to spam the heck out of this until you get this new cell furnace. So, getting 20k right there. So, pretty good making some really good money right now so right we are there we go so now you want to buy this cell furnace right here the cell incubator there we go there we go and you want to smell the heck out of these as well all right we're getting millions as you can see now you want to do is buy a lot of these buy a lot of these diamond mines as well now what you want to do is place three more of these here we go buy there we go you want to place a lot more here also you want to increase your ore limit just go to your settings right here and scroll down to see where it adjusts ore limits and then put this to 250, which is the max ore limit. And we're making loads. Also, you want to buy like 10 more of these. There we go. And so you just want to place, you just want to spam the heck out of these on your base, not gonna lie. Alright, so for now, you want to withdraw, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get RP right now. There's also a video on how to farm RP if you're low life, so you want to get basically 9-9 of these silver mines, and then also get the basic research center 9-9-9 times as well. So, you want to get at least two sewer mines for each or actually you know what no place three each place three three as you can see we're getting some rp right now oh my bad okay that might happen to y'all where you just automatically place stuff but you want to actually get like four each of these Place four mines down. Just want to place these down. Just want to get these placed down. There we go. Just, just keep spamming these. I just want to fill the, your entire base with all these. But 
you just want this to like run for a little bit and yeah until you get to 50 krp uh then uh then i'll show you guys what to do next after you got 50 krp okay so now once you want to do after you get 50 krp is you want to start spamming these so remote diamond mine just want to spam these again i want to do at least like okay three of those all right then now you want to do spam them on your base all right there we go so now we're gonna do that and now you should be getting a lot of money now and yes you, okay we are getting lots right now 500 million all right so now you want to get is the platinum excavator and then now you want to also save up for that new furnace which is this one cell cell processor so you just want to keep spamming those all right all right get this okay withdraw that and you want to replace this one with this one all right there we go all right so now you want to do is spam this while clicking on the diamonds as you can see the cell process with the plutonium x is making us 20 million per theme so that's really good we also save up for the loop setup so we're gonna at least save like I'll say you would save a bit around like uh, at least like 15 billion so yeah I'll come back to you guys once I have 15 billion okay once you have 17 billion you want to do is go to the settings right here and press withdraw all and press yes now what you want to buy is you want to buy a org magnifier one of these one of the ore trackers I want to also get one of the ore scanners I mean the way up highs then you also want to buy a amp then you also want to buy at least one of these two of these uh, then you want to also buy one of these one of these and then the furnace don't matter just buy this one and then you also want to buy two of these you want to buy eight of these plasmas right here then you want to also place down you want to buy at least four four of these portable or advancers use the platinum the excavator you got earlier and you want to place down the ore magnifier like this convey your ore tracker next and then you want to also place down the conveyor ramp right here then you want to place down your way up high upgrader right here like this then you want to place down the blue teleporter then you want to place down the blue teleport receiver over there then you want to start placing at least i think three of these yeah three of these basic conveyors place four of these at least and then place two of the ore scanners and then place eight of these plasmas there we go then you want to just put the blues teleporter again and then now you want to do is the actual finishing part the loop setup and then you want to place this oh also by the way also buy a radioactive refiner right here buy one of those and then you want to place down the the furnace you have so replace on that furnace right there so basically how this works is this is a loop setup so basically i'm gonna be just showing you guys so basically it's gonna go through the teleporters and then once it hits that teleporter it's gonna go back to this one again and the point of having the ore trackers you could see the value of your ores so it's really good to have an ore tracker and you want to at least get to like a hundred ores in your ore limit 
All right, so I'm gonna stop at right now at 110. So here's the thing about loop setup. So you need to replace this teleporter, the blue one with the pink one really fast because if you don't, then you're gonna lose all your ores and you have to run the loop all over again, so. All right, so you wanna replace this really quickly right now. And you will lose a bit of ores, which is okay. But we got six billion there, so you just wanna keep looping this again. So basically you wanna just like have at least like eight of these way up highs so i'll come back to you guys once i have eight of the way up high upgraders okay so now once you have 300 billion you want to get this mine for 200 billion right here the osseum excavator so there we go replace this okay you might need to move your setup a little bit so just do that all right let's move the setup a little bit just a teeny tiny bit, probably like right there. And now we could place it. All right, there we go. And you guys want to just keep looping this. Also, I want to save up for a couple of upgraders next. So I'll catch you guys back when we have enough for those. Okay, once you have like 950 billion, now you want to do is go to the shop and you want to get the the advanced ore scanner by two of these. There we go. Place two of those, and then you want to select all of this again because you don't want to rebuild this whole thing. Actually, get more of the way up highs because that'll help out a lot. 500 million, so yeah. Just get more way up high upgraders. At least, at least four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, at least eighteen of those. I have to save up for a Pantheon mine because that's way better. And now we should definitely have enough for the mine. Yes, let's go. All right, we have enough. All right. So now, okay, I'm just going to let these remaining ores just go through. Buy this mine right here for 2.9 trillion. And then now, I think now we can move our setup back a little bit. Yeah, we can move the setup back a little bit. Let's also add a little bit more way up highs here so get like 15 more and then now you want to get the new furnace so which is the sacrificial altar so you want to do that now get this furnace right here yep now you just want to save up for the curse or upgrader so i'll come back to you guys once i have enough for that okay once you guys have 18 trillion saved so now you want to go is go to the upgrades and then now you want to do is get Two of these court cursed ore perfiners. And then you also want to kind of scoot this setup a little bit. So let me just scoot this one over here. Cursed ores. There we go. Cursed ore. Gives 40,000. Okay, so now what you want to do is get more freons. So, all right, so you want to start getting freons. So get, uh, let's do five for now. Five is pretty good. All right, so now you want to do is get five of these. There we go. Place the, t the teleporter. You just want to keep getting more freons. Okay, so now once you have a lot more money, you just want to keep getting those freons, bro. Really helpful. So you just want to keep doing freons until I think it was the third line. So, yeah. All right, let's just spend all our money here on at least i think we might actually have enough for a hundred yep we have enough for a hundred oh wait oh wait hold on, hold on. wait or just get you know let's just get 91. okay actually you want to actually rebuild the setup so you want to uh, place down your mine right there then you want to place down the ore magnifier there we go then you want to place down the ore tracker. Then you want to place down the advanced ore scanner. Then you want to place down the curse ore uh, thing right here. Then you also want to place the ramp right here. Then you want to also get your ore replicator right there. Place that. And then you want to place that ramp again raised conveyor then you want to place down this and then you also want to 
also way up high upgrader. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then right here you want to do it again right here. There we go. The ramp, there we go. And then you want to place some more way up highs right here. Oh, not like that, alright. Place a lot of these down. Okay, actually, you know what? You want to stop right there. Blue, okay. And then here's where the actual line is going to start. Okay, so we're going to place a lot of freons. So make sure you have a lot of freons. So uh, start placing like right here. At least up to the three line. Oh, my bad. That's probably gonna happen, which will be okay if you accidentally. Okay, there we go. Stop right there. And then let's make this turn. There we go. There we go. Do that. Alright, there we go. And then just keep this. I just keep doing this. I don't know. We probably need like more than that. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's do this again. There we go. Alright. Just keep placing these till they start blinking. have not started blinking yet. Uh, okay, I think we could maybe do another line. Let me see if they started blinking though yet. No, they haven't started blinking. Oh wait, yep, there we go. Starting to blink now. So that means now we need to do is get this pink thing. And then now you want to do is also uh, throw in these last upgrades Hold on pink, 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 pink. The pink uh, teleporter. Then you want to throw on uh, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, then portables. You want to get those portables out. Oh my bad. There we go. Then you also want to place down two ore scanners. Two ore scanners and place those. Then you want to also place down the plasmas. Down. Oh, right. Okay, hold on. Okay, place eight of those. Then you want to also place down a radioactive refinery right there right and then now you want to place down that furnace there we go you want to save about 1.4 qd that's what you want to save it for so this i'll show you guys see this right this upgrader you need to save right here for and it shouldn't take too long to save up for okay so you guys want to place 12 schrodingers and then you also want to now just uh get some of the okay so here's the following upgrades you need to get is you need to get ten of get ten of these, ten of these right here, the fire blast upgrader. Oh wait, I think that might be the wrong one. Hold on, Is it the wrong one. No, no, that's the wrong one. Okay, so you want to get uh ten of these. So let me replace these real quick. All right, so now what you want to do is before we place these upgraders. Uh, we kind of want to place a military conveyor. Uh, okay. So, we're going to place, like, we're going to also get the orbables. Those are really good. Get four of these. There we go. There we go. Get two of those. 
else, so you probably need to place another orbable right there. There we go. And then now you also want to get an ore cannon. Uh, just one of these right now. Just one of these. Just one of these. There we go. There we go. And then you also want to get the ion f field right here. Okay, get four of these as well. And then. Then you want to get two of these right here, and then also you want to place these two, and then you want to also place the orbitals right here. Just place these upgrades right here. I'm back where they were. Okay, so now you want to also get a new furnace, uh, Dream Maker, pretty good furnace, so get that. Okay, you might not have enough room for that, okay. Just realize you probably need to build a little bit more to do that. Okay, place the Dream Maker, and then, okay, you might need to place one more conveyor. Um, now I just gotta wait for the Schrodingers, cause you need to be lucky and get that one good ore. Yeah, you just wanna wait till you get 25, till you get a good ore, so you gotta wait like a long while to get to 25 QN, so catch you guys when I get to 25 QN. Okay guys, so this is, uh, we have 25 QN, uh, keep in mind you probably need to like put like seven of these schrodingers or eight yeah at least eight of these and then probably throw on some of, more of these fire blast upgraders and also like throw in like the radioactive refiner at the end of the setup but, or actually before you reborn you want to save your layout so press l if you're on pc but if you're on mobile you're gonna have to go on the settings gear and then go to layouts and then open and then save it from there so you just want to save it there save the layout and then you want to reborn there. So we want to reborn three, two, one. And that's how you reborn in this game, get through your first life. So if you guys enjoyed this video, check out my other videos here. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.